Eastern Nazarene College. The small Christian school in Quincy, Massachusetts is home of the men's tennis team called the Lions. The young men are swinging their racket on the waters and tennis courts, or how the dream prefers to say it, in the Lions cage. Men's tennis at Eastern Nazarene College has been the most successful program in the past two years. They reached the championship final of the Coast Commonwealth Conference in both seasons. In 2017, the Lions claimed the regular season champion title. Unique about it, the 11 guys make up the most diverse squad on campus. They describe themselves as International Dangerous Discipline Ambitious Diverse Family Loyal Warriors Passion Dedication The success story began in 2013. Head coach Christian Popa, who is from Romania, started recruiting international tennis players. First player was Andres Biondi from Venezuela. Since then, Popa recruited 11 more players from all over the world. I, I love diversity, it's very important to have it. It just brings all kinds of uh, new ideas and concepts. Um, it's just, it's almost like a you know, cultural exchange about tennis players. We get to learn about, you know, traditions and backgrounds of every player. It makes the team much more excited and, and enjoyable and everybody gets to learn from everybody. So. A big majority in the team is made up by four German players. Juniors Henry Sierke, who received the Rookie of the Year award in his first season, as well as Lauren Rutkowski, joined Eastern Nazarene in 2016. Sierke is a business major, while Rutkowski who currently deals with an ankle injury, studies journalism and writing. Sophomore and sports management major Julius Opeshovsky came to the United States in spring 2018. And freshman Tim Schillingens followed in the fall. All four played competitive tennis in Germany. Uh, it's fun to have the home culture here in the US too. Coach Popa established a good recruiting network in Venezuela with Andres Biondi and Santiago Camero Two Venezuelans graduated from ENC in 2018. However, Popa recruited two new players from Venezuela in 2018. Transfer student and sophomore Jesus Lucard, freshman Diego Rodriguez, who's very talented, majors in business management. For the first year student, being part of such an international team is a unique experience. I think it's special because we're from different cultures and we just like learn a little bit about everybody. Yeah. Studying in the United States is a huge opportunity for the students because the Venezuelan country is currently in a deep socio-economic crisis. Yes. It's a big opportunity for me because in my country we are having a hard time so just have the opportunity to grow and learn in a different country that gives me so much opportunities uh, is a uh, big thing for me. The two Venezuelans are not the only ones on the team who are speaking Spanish. Transfer student and junior Alberto Escobar, as well as freshman Miguel Lopez, came all the way from Spain to be part of the team. Escobar transferred from Tennessee Wesleyan College. He did not experience such a great team bonding as in this team. We are friends and we have a good relationship. There are only two Americans left on the roster, junior Kyle Pearson and senior captain Shaw Campbell friends from high school in California. I, I was worried about how you know the different cultures might make it hard to gel as a team. I was also worried about maybe the work ethic that might come from different countries. I didn't know what it would be like. Uh, I didn't know if they would want to work harder or less hard. He also notes that international players in general might have problems adopting to the American way of college tennis in the beginning. I do think that sometimes guys come in in their first year they have a hard time adjusting to the idea of even when you're down needing to cheer for your teammates and you know you still need to fight because you have your team that's relying on you. I was worried that you know uh, work ethic and culture would be too different to, to connect but it's been that can't be further from the truth. We we connect and gel as a team and it hasn't been easier to be their captain and they listen to me so well and I think it's maybe partially because of how I listen to them but I, yeah it works very easy. 
the person who is responsible for the success of the team and for the unity it experiences is Christian Popper, who is head coach of the team since 2004. He does a good job. We have such a diverse team from so many different countries and he's still able to like bring us together. And Popper understands his players. He sees that they are proud of their origins, which is why he puts up the national flags on the fences of the tennis courts during the matches. I like to put the flags. I think it's important. I just give them a sense of, you know, being proud of where they're coming from and being part of the team. And it just gives them a little bit more of a, I would say, just try one on the tennis court too. Because they not only represent, you know, I get the feeling that they not only represent the school, but they also represent the country where they're coming from. The Lions are heading into their first season in the Great Northwest Athletic Conference. After losing two championship finals, they are hungry for the championship title. The team is not only as international, but also as strong as never before. Dogs on three! One, two, three! Dogs! Dogs.